What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening? Happy Saturday, you guys. I am um, late recording because I had a lot to do this morning, but I am here. I know I'm gonna make it do what it do, no matter what. I'm not gonna take anything, but uh, I'm seeing partying, uh, the chaser, ooh, seduction, backstabbing, ooh. All right, let's see what's going on here. A Gemini's, all Gemini placements take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description box. Lovepeacegenesis.com. Oop, and I just saw that, the Twin Flames. Okay, um, let's get a different bottom of the deck because we just saw that one. Um, let me pull a different one because we just saw this one recently. Okay, oh, I don't know. we'll take that one. Okay, so we have a button. Let me find out. Okay, so we have positive mindset, manifest gratitude and bliss and blessings. We have coffee cup. This is meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. Then we have twin flames here. This is yin yang, balance, union and duality, complement, polar opposites. And then we have grounding here. Now what was on the bottom was the needing time, the time to heal, whatever, whatever. And I didn't take that one because we've seen that one several times. Um, stability and security, performance, growth, and endurance. Okay, so let's see what is going on. Uh, you know, uh, Gemini's. Uh, my social media is in the description box, you guys. I, oh shit, I do have something in the oven. I may have to get up, y'all. <laughs> we didn't already started, man. All right, Ace of Pentacles. You got opportunities coming in. What is this? What is this? I love it. Um, mm, the tower. Okay. Eight of pentacles on the bottom. You have some type of opportunity coming in. It's going to come in like a bolt of lightning. Now, this is supposed to be a love read, a general love, but I'm seeing some type of huge opportunity coming in. The hermit could be a Virgo for some of you uh, that you're dealing with, or a Virgo is your twin flame. Mm -hmm. You may also be opposite from someone, the Hierophant, the Temperance. So Taurus, Virgo, Sag, Scorpio is what we see so far. So I feel like um, there could be someone here that is so drawn and so connected to you that they may not really know or understand the... Uh, the connection, if that makes sense. Sometimes a hermit can be the investigator, um, you know, trying to see what's going on, trying to see what's happening. Uh, your your twin flame though might also be like the hermit archetype, you know, um, a loner to themselves, like to be by themselves. Could be an earth sign, you know, whatever, whatever. It doesn't have to be that. But I do feel like too, uh, you might be the opposite in a sense that uh, this person may be a loner and you may not be, right? So take that how it resonates, but I do feel like there could be someone here that is trying to figure out why they're so drawn to you or figure out why they are so uh, into you or why you seem to um, keep their attention, Geminis, or, or keep them coming back or whatnot. But it could also be with the temperance here, them trying to figure out how they can make this work with you because the temperance is about balancing um, two so seemingly opposite things and making them one merging them together that's the alchemist and i feel like somebody here it makes sense because it's talking about yin and yang so you may be two different people and you're trying to figure out how to make it work like try to make your personalities work and your mind frames and stuff work one of you may also have like a, a, a oh you're dealing with a spiritual connection high priestess the hierophant is divine pair uh, the spiritual divine pair um I feel like too, some of you guys, you may have, uh, one of you may have like a, a, a huge uh, prosperous mentality and the other one may have like a poverty mentality too. Like y'all's mentalities are different. I love this Ace of Pentacles here under the Abundance card because I feel like that's someone, oh child, what is going on? King of Swords. The strength card <laughs> could be a Leo, uh, King of Cups, two Scorpio cards. Yeah, somebody's about to um, let their feelings be known. Yep. Mm -hmm. Someone may come bearing gifts too. 
yeah gemini someone's about to like pour their now this could either be them actually telling you now the king of cups isn't really a communicator okay but i'm only saying that because it is under the meeting and talking okay building friendship but this could also be someone like having an epiphany that they have fallen in love or their feelings for you are deeper than they uh were willing to accept um gemini's it's like someone has fallen for you or fallen in love i feel like someone is, is okay that was almost a six of swords wow y'all the ace of cups so we have two aces a six of swords showing up again see this almost flipped over uh yeah someone is coming in with an offer this could also be a new energy for some of you or it may just feel new someone may come in like totally changed and totally different like say you were um dealing with this person and they were like off and on and in and out and not really sure it's like they, they're coming in in a more sure uh energy we did see the needing time card earlier we have the self-worth and value oh this one also says time to heal shadow work <laughs> You ain't getting away with that thing. You're not getting away that easy. <laughs> same card, pretty much. Uh, just just a different um, uh, different card. Same words in a nutshell here. Uh, Gemini's. But yes, I feel like someone has had some time to heal or has some time to like reflect. And once once they realize that they were in love or that they have deep feelings, I feel like this is kind of like uh, motivating this person to come back or make this work. Now I get someone is trying to figure out how they can offer you their cup. Now, because they could have pushed you away. Three of Wands, they could have gone distant from you. You've gone distant. They're at a distance. The chariot, yeah. You have you may have to travel to someone or you're traveling with someone. Yeah, someone is determined to grow this with you. Yo, yeah, this just couldn't get any better. <laughs> Whoever this is, is determined to make this work. The chariot is a very determined energy. Very, very determined. Someone believes that y'all are meant to be or believes that you're their person or you're like their twin flame or their soulmate or whatever the case may be. Even though you're opposites from this person, it's like y'all balance each other out. But sometimes when you're opposites from a person, you can butt heads because you haven't quite figured out how to make it work. That's the temperance energy here. The temperance is figuring out how to make it work. How do we make these two separate things come together and work as one as a unit? Okay. How do we complement each other? Like this says, compliment. How do we complement each other instead of, you know, tearing each other's heads off in a nutshell? So I feel like this is someone that is willing to work, work on this with you. Like, how can we come together and agree? How can we come together and uh, be on one page? And I feel like somebody is determined to uh, make this work with you. <laughs> There's that high priestess. Yeah, you're you're dealing. This is a spiritual connection. It is a twin flame for some of you. Seven of Pentacles. You have a lot of invested with somebody. The Queen of Cups. Another divine pair. Yeah, this is your person, Gemini's, whoever this is, this is your, this is your person. Pisces is here. The Ten of Pentacles. The Empress here. Oh, we might see that Emperor too. Oh, look at this, y'all. Somebody wants a family. Somebody wants to settle down. Um, you know, however it fit, however it fits for you. Okay. Because uh, some people don't believe in marriage, but that doesn't mean that they don't want, you know, a long term commitment. But yeah, somebody is coming in offering a commitment to you. Gemini. And I feel like this has been like a long time coming of somebody like being off and on and in and out. Eight of Pentacles again. Somebody willing to do the work. Um, Gemini. Somebody willing to perfect their, uh, perfect this energy. I'm hearing, um, who sings that song? Um, the song by Joe, uh, I Wanna Know. So look up that song, you guys. I'm hearing that song like somebody wanting to learn you and study you. The chariot again, you guys. Somebody wanting to learn you and study you and kind of get this off the ground. 
uh you guys ten of cups here on the bottom yeah love it i'm gonna pull one more for this but yeah somebody is determined to make this work with you and i mean determined I'm seeing a lot of energy of someone having to get out of their comfort zone. Someone is willing to get out of their comfort zone to come towards you, um, Gemini's. And like I said, in the chariot cards, you can see it more so in this one than in the other one. But you see that she's leaving her, her home. Behind her is her home. That's her city, you guys. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. I knew it. Hold up. Wait a minute. y'all okay so yeah so the cherry is about um getting out of your comfort zone if that makes sense getting out of what you know or a belief system especially with the hierophant here a belief system that they once had so it could be around commitment <sighs> yes <laughs> ten of wands the magician here on the bottom gemini or virgo energy the ten of wands is like this almost their energy like i said in another reading but this is also about like putting in work heavy vibes here of somebody putting in work so it's like this person is willing to work with you um gemini's even though you two are very different um you see things differently i feel like for a lot of you you um y'all have different mindsets to where it could like affect like your quality of life in some way so take that how it resonates here but i'm seeing something kind of coming to light for you but i love the high priestess here under the positive mindset manifest etc etc because this could be like spirit telling you to count your blessings in a nutshell um gemini's and trying to focus too much on stuff that you don't have and focus on what you do have and this could also be a lesson for this person to learn how to appreciate what they have um more so than anything okay but i also get someone may be very grateful for you um and learning how to appreciate you and your differences and how you're different because you two actually balance each other out a lot uh Gemini's I'm actually going to pull one more but there's a lot of energy here of like work there's there's an energy of like work or of um of uh, the king of cups again you guys the strength card yeah I'm seeing like an outpour like someone really opening up to you within their ability uh, Gemini's I wanted to get one more for the tower to see what this is and the star so the tower could be a past energy for some of you but whatever happened between you two they want to heal it but this is also some type of epiphany for this person but the king of cups came out again these these came out um, the star the page of cups this could also be like an apology too for some of you the magician again the king of cups um, came out and again the tower the king of cups is down here clarifying the tower from earlier so i feel heavily like someone is going to like uh ask you out on a date or in, uh, during this date they open up like someone really really opens up uh about you know how they've been feeling what they've been going through or whatever your situation is i'm seeing uh, you're going to see like a different side to someone because i'm seeing somebody here really really getting out of their comfort zone for you um Gemini's I'll cut everyone off for you 
for whoever this resonates with y'all <laughs> lifetime by maxwell this is the perfect song for this reading you guys go listen to lifetime by maxwell because in the song he says we need to work this out this lifetime in a nutshell okay so go listen to lifetime by maxwell because that is like the perfect energy for this i'm feeding for your kiss let me get one more shuffle and then i will whoa what was that whoa okay um if i could take it all back i would mm -hmm. that could be that tower that i told you about uh let's see man because things are flipping over like crazy i don't want things to end i feel, I feel like you guys are just going to get like an outpour of something from somebody so something that someone's really been holding in i didn't want to settle down until i met you that's what i get i get heavy settling down with someone here heavy commitment here with somebody okay like doing the work uh and all that good stuff okay i know you're the one for me mm-hmm all right, let's pull. I can't sleep or eat without you. It's here on the bottom. Okay, so let's see what is going on here. I'll pull a couple more. I'm feeding for your kiss again. And I pulled that from the middle. So somebody wants to kiss on you. I'm seeing things differently now. Yeah, that's what I got with that tower. Like someone's seeing something differently. I got a surprise for you. Yeah, I kind of got that vibe too. I feel like you are going to be surprised by how much this person opens up and how much they say. Um, Gemini's 666. Six, six. I'm going through a lot right now. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I believe it. 222. Two, two. Mm hmm. Can we at least be friends? Mm hmm. I don't feel like that's their, uh, I don't feel like that's going to be their uh, end all though. This person wants you in their life, Gemini's, even if they told you differently. I'm ready for real this time. Especially if you broke, uh, broke up with someone. I'm starting to understand you better. Yes! Yes! This is perfect for this. Because I get it all through the spread. Because it's like, this person may have not liked certain qualities about yourself. Uh, a certain qualities about you but then they're starting to think like actually those aren't really bad qualities and i could use that that's something that i could utilize in my life so yeah i told you damn i'm good dang and i said this too let me take you on a date i can't hide my feelings anymore i told you gemini's clap for my damn sad yes all right am i gonna do another reading my camera's about to die um, let me, let me get some songs real fast. Gemini's or a one song. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Gotta have you by pleasure P. I think y'all got this before. I, this is the, the chariot baby. I'm telling you that chariot energy is a determined energy. Somebody is determined Gemini's to get you. Okay. Let's shuffle again um you are everything by drew hill and i believe in this song he started off with like last night we had an argument um and then he says i'm sorry for what i've done please forgive me listen to you are everything by drew hill okay thank you guys for watching y'all hit those likes hit that subscribe peace out